It's a school holiday here in Sao Tome and Principe, a time for all young people, specifically students, to take a deserved break. But alas, not in this beautiful island of about 200,000 inhabitants, 8,000 of which are baptized the Seventh day Adventist members. The young people in Sao Tome and Principe are passionate about evangelism, and when it's holiday time, this is the right time for them to go out into the community to mingle with others and to be the hands and feet of Jesus. For three weeks, youths embark on a Bible study project dubbed the Caleb Project. They camp outdoors and sometimes in unended areas just to be the light to others. They do door-to-door -door visitations studying the scriptures with their community, thereby pointing others to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. While others are engaged in Bible studies, others are hard at work building houses for the less privileged members of our society. The satisfaction they get from doing this charity work is priceless, as they believe that this is what Jesus would have done as well. By building homes for the less privileged members of our society, we feel so happy that we can put a roof over their heads. I'm so excited to move into my new house. I'm currently squatting with friends and it's not conducive, because I have a baby who needs freedom as well. We are a missionary group of 16 2x2 two two Caleb Project with the mission to bring the lost ones to Jesus through Bible studies. We do this mission uh, um, year by year and it consists on going to the communities, into the communities and giving biblical studies, uh, painting homes and talking to the children and playing with them. Uh, as we can see, we are uh, away from home, so we bring tents and we will, we will be staying here for uh, two weeks for this mission. As young people, we are so happy to evangelize to our community through our acts of good kindness and the community is already inquiring to know more about our church. The Bible studies are really opening their eyes. The young people also conduct a health expos for the children. This is to teach the young ones at a tender age that healthy bodies will build healthy families that will result in a healthy community so that we can serve him better. Today we were teaching the children about how to take care of their health because health is very important to all of us. As for the community, they are grateful and humbled by the work being done by the Seventh-day Adventist Church in their communities. I am the head of this small community and what the young people from SDA Church did today is commendable. They came and taught us so much about our health. They checked our blood pressure, our weight, and also they gave us advice on how to live a healthy life. Pastor Shavia, the acting president of South Tome and Principe, attached the field for the Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division, believes that what the young people are doing is total member involvement at play. Here in Sao Tome, our young people are very active on the Caleb project. They understand that it's a way to reach people. So through this various activity, like social, Bible study, and the preaching, they are able to bring some people to come to Jesus. The Caleb Project is now so popular in Sao Tome and Principe, so much that it is broadcast weekly on national television, a sign that indeed our young people are doing the right thing, as they adopted the slogan which says, We will go. Caleb? Yes, Caleb? Yes, Caleb? As the church continues to grow here in South Tome and Principe, it is clear that the young people are on a mission to go forward in impacting their communities. And we praise God for these initiatives. For the Echo News, I'm Noel Spanda reporting from South Tome and Principe.